All right, everybody. Once again, it is March 3rd, 2018, 11.32 a.m., and I just wanted to answer a few questions in this video from the comments below about the uh, water temperatures going on in the Caribbean and the Gulf, which are almost at record levels. There is a huge heat anomaly actually going on in the Gulf right now where there were some charts showing 95 degrees. So that is very interesting, but we're going to use more solid data than that. But before we start, I just wanted to give you one more look at this new system that's forming that may in fact become another nor'easter that we just posted about uh, between March 7th and 9th. And it is showing the exact same signs that we just dealt with with Winter Storm Riley and the moisture being pulled up from the Gulf. You can see that first low right here is a winter storm. And then as that moisture moves across west to east, it wants to meet together right over the northeast, literally mimicking um, almost to a T what we had just seen uh, in the last two days. That includes going back to Winter Storm Grayson, uh, which was two months before this past nor'easter. So this may in fact be our third nor'easter in a period of four months, maybe not even three and a half months, which is just unbelievable on its own. But this video right here... I just want to update you on our current water temperatures in the Gulf, and you can see that we are getting very, very close. We have our, our entire west to east wind belt, where our tropical storms and depressions tend to form off the west coast of Africa. They come, they come down through the Cape Verde Islands, and then they follow this belt here. The winds begin to pick up, and they lift from the southern hemisphere, and it's like this trail they follow, and that's when they begin to choose whether they go up the east coast or if they're forced down west and into the Gulf or affect areas near Jamaica, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and Cuba, which was a lifesaver for us when it came to Hurricane Irma, if you all remember. Uh, you could see these colors bleeding into the Gulf. That is easily 80 degree weather, uh, 80 degree surface temperature water, rather which is exactly what you need to sustain a tropical depression that will hold a tropical storm as well as a hurricane. But even below that, we have warmer temperatures being shown um, on an updated chart. This is current as of today. We have 81 degrees showing up. We have 80 showing up um, under Cuba right near the water gap here uh, between Cancun and Cuba itself and then we are at an average of 78 degrees in the Gulf which is above average for this time of year so with that said I believe I have one more chart for you to show actually maybe I don't let's see alright so anyway just in case uh, because April of last year was our first tropical storm that would be the letter A our first storm of this year will be named Alberto has never been used before um, basically every name we have this year has never been used as a hurricane or that may just mean unused as of now. I'm not sure. Actually, I think we've had a Gordon. Um, it's funny. I have actually two family members that have both passed away in this list alone, which is very uh, unique, at least to me. So once we get to those storms, we'll talk about that more. But I just wanted to touch base and answer some of those questions. Again, guys, the official season begins June 1st, as you can see to this chart. As it rises up, the most intense month for hurricane season in the Atlantic Ocean is September, and then it starts to wind down. It peaks up a little bit in between October 1st and the end of October, and if you remember, we had a few systems that went on right where I have this line here. So, uh, once again, June 1st to November 30th is the official beginning and start of the season, but that does not mean that these storms cannot happen earlier. Uh, like I said, our first tropical storm of the year last year was in April, first time since 2002, 2003 that has happened, and then before that it had not happened until the 50s, so certainly a lot of changes going on with the weather. Um, I believe this will be a very busy hurricane season uh, based on current uh, wind maps that we have that uh, tend to stay uh, very consistent throughout the uh, three to four months period of time and if it stays the way it is um, I would not be surprised to see our first tropical depression even towards the end of the month of March uh, let alone April so it's just a wait and see game we're gonna be talking about this a lot as you know last hurricane season it, basically all I covered were the hurricanes which is more than likely what's gonna happen this year as well I will be throwing in other stuff to it but once again, guys, the water is ready. We have favorable conditions uh, considered by the Weather Center uh, for tropical depression formation going on in the Caribbean right now as we speak, and we are not even through our first week of March yet. So with that said, guys, uh, again, I want to keep this quick. I will be back later on this afternoon. Got some running around to do, and 
that's about it, guys. Take care, be safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.